everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. I hope you're all doing really well. So, the title of this reading is, Does He Miss Me? So, for this reading, please picture your person in your mind, imagine them, and then choose between one of these three sets of cards. This is set of cards number one, this is set of cards number two, and this is set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that now. Okay, so right now I'm going to place aside a set of cards number two. And set of cards number three. So first of all, I can go ahead with this, a set of cards number one. Does he miss me? So I just want to quickly mention, if you would ever like a personal reading with me, all those details to book are in the description box below. You can book via Etsy or PayPal. I also offer a reading with a 24 hour turnaround, which is available seven days a week. Having said that, I really want to go ahead now and let's see what messages come through here. So, let's take a look. We have the Emperor Energy with the Four of Pentacles and, oh, the Nine of Cups. Okay, so, um, we've got some real stubborn energies here, okay? You know, the emperor can, you know, truly represent self-imposed barriers and boundaries, okay? Um, we've clearly got strong, fiery energy here, you know, especially Aries. Um, we've also got the four of pentacles. So, you know, you could, for some of you, be dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. They don't need to be. Uh, this is all about energy, ultimately. Um, we do have also the Nine of Cups, okay? So the Nine of Cups is the wish card, okay? It's It tells me that your person feels you so intensely, okay? Um, we've clearly got water energy here also, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. We need to expand these energies, okay? Because what I've got here coming through very strongly is somebody who is uh, literally feeling it all, but not um opening up to you okay this is what is coming through so so clearly let's take some more now let's take some cards for this emperor Okay, so we have, oh my goodness, we have the Nine of Cups again. So here it is. It, you know, it's what came through initially. They dream of you, they wish for you, and yet they are their own worst enemy. We have the Nine of Cups repeated, okay? Now, what I'm getting here is, you know, this won't be for everybody. This is just the first card where we're going in depth. Um, there's something here about, you know, what happened in the past, okay? Um, I do feel that they were very closed off. They were very closed down. They, f they felt it all. But it... it it, there's, you know, with 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 the emperor energy, we 
we can't deny what that is it's kind of, it can be kind of like a controlling energy like trying to control the narrative you know trying to um be the person who sort of def the, the, you know your person may have been trying to define what this relationship is okay um let's continue oh my goodness the devil yeah so you're dealing with someone who's very very intense somebody who doesn't show their feelings but they feel them very deeply and this is to you know this lack of uh, ability to express themselves is to the detriment of this connection because i can see very clearly they are truly obsessed with you okay now i'm i'm also getting the strong energy you know that there could be other barriers and boundaries in the way they could be having to keep everything in take it as it resonates because they're gonna there is gonna be so many scenarios here there is a deep obsession that they have for you um you are their wish. We have the wish card twice. There are barriers and boundaries. Feelings are under wraps here. Okay. Um, powerful. Um, deep, deep down. They know that. They, they, they feel you deeply. They feel that you are their destiny okay um there's something here about this barrier and boundary whatever it is there can be a breakthrough okay and th they know this they, they do know this um let's take some cards for this nine of cups Oh my goodness <laughs> very powerful okay this is a very very significant significant message for some of you out there we took these three cards we had the Emperor and the first card out the nine of cups and then we had the nine of cups and the first card out the Emperor it's it's powerful this could be a pisces aries combination okay um or any water sign any fire sign combination and we've got this kind of stuck energy right in the center okay um they miss you but they're not telling you this okay that is the message for this reading. Um, let's continue. Oh yeah, strong fire energy. Um, you know, they miss you. They dream of you. They feel that you're their destiny. They wish for you. And what we've got right in the center here is this energy of everything being held in okay you're the star oh my goodness okay so let's take a look at the way these cards have fallen into place here okay i'm actually seeing you two are so intertwined that like this could be them this could be you okay so take a a look zoom in on these cards here um the knight of wands the devil obsession and passion uh, and you know the the wish card and the nine of cups repeated the emperor repeated this could be very strongly twin flame energy okay and there's a barrier and boundary here between you two 
it kind of maybe it started with them and then you had to say I can't do this okay um it's very powerful reading you two are very connected they miss you like crazy as much as you miss them they miss you okay it's very powerful let's continue trapped yeah four of pentacles and the trapped energy and let's take these cards now crushed and sorry okay so this could this could be a very fiery connection um you two could have split there's a barrier and a boundary between you two what i'm getting overwhelmingly you know is the the big breakthrough you're aware of it it has to come from them but what i do see which is just so beautiful is these two cards destiny and the ultimate wish we've got wishes all over this reading it's truly beautiful so I'm going to leave that one there and I really hope that you found it helpful. Now I'm going to move on to set of cards number two. I'm just going to shuffle this deck a couple of times. So right now, I am going to move on to this set of cards number two. And the title of the reading is, Does He Miss Me? So let's go ahead now. I'm going to pull these three cards. I'm also, you know, going to take further cards here from this deck as I feel the need. Um, I just want to quickly mention if you would ever like a personal reading with me, all of those details to book are in the description box below via Etsy or PayPal and I do offer a reading with a 24 hour turnaround. So having said that, I really want to see what cards come through here, okay? So, oh, oh my goodness, okay. Well, immediately, the five of pentacles, okay? This is the, you know, I guess we've got like the five of cups, um, the six of cups, uh, but the ultimate miss, missing you card is, it is the five of pentacles, okay? Because it's, it's about somebody close to you and next to you who and when they're not there you feel like you're miss you you've you're missing the other half of yourself okay um it's like part of you is completely missing and this is this is this tells me kind of like how intensely that yes they are missing you okay there's very a kind of like a few cards i guess in, in the tarot that would really answer that question just instantly okay and this five of pentacles is that um you know clearly we could be dealing with double earth energy virgo taurus capricorn but it absolutely does not need to be just like that this is this um feeling that you have okay when somebody's not around you and you just want to hold them you just want them there with you right now okay um oh yes they miss you okay now 
when I see this five of pentacles also, because it's such earthy energy, it can represent, you know, what's truly happening on this 3D plane right now. As in, um, you know, you two could be in a long distance relationship. Um, you two could be right now just in completely different parts of the world for whatever reason, okay? Um, you know, I really wanna, I wanna take some more here, okay? I've got deep soulmate energy coming through, okay? It, it's kind of like, it's, and it's mutual also. Like, I really feel that, you know, you're both missing each other here, okay? Um, the, there could even be some kind of stubbornish energy here because we've got this earthy energy, okay? There could be a very stubborn Taurus somewhere in the mix here. Um, Ace of Swords. Oh my goodness, the devil. Oh, oh my goodness, the Ace of Pentacles. There could be some big decisions here for you two. Or for them. Um, the Ace of Swords represents a certain clarity inside the mind. But can also represent, you know, to make th this, like, clarity come to a, a physical fruition that there needs to be a very strong decision and it's a double-edged sword energy so you know it's kind of like just the way life can be you know sometimes things are never simple sometimes something's got to give sometimes uh th there's got to be like a balance something's got to balance itself out in order for this beginning okay because I do see it here, it is mutual, and now I've seen this devil, I do have to say, perhaps go back and look at set of cards number one also, um, this is about, it's also about deep, deep attraction that we've got going on here, for me, the devil can represent the lovers having a really, really tough time right now, okay, um, the Ace of Pentacles is about the foundation. It's about the 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 beginning that's in the three D. Okay, so can about it. It's truly about you two being physically closer together. This is the most important thing. Okay, it's about crossing a threshold. It's about an offer. It's it's about this firm foundation that can be built upon. Um, now, the aces represent opportunity, okay, take that as it resonates, is there an opportunity here that hasn't truly been um, explored, okay, because I see it, I feel it, I see intense energies here between you two that have to be explored, let's continue, king of pentacles so pentacles energy when i see the king it can represent two people who kind of can work together okay so this person may be emotionally kind of feeling distant right now they might may may actually be somebody that you see every day but now it's all about making it build making it grow okay uh, i'm getting the um, your person could be older than you. I'm just taking the messages as they come through here. Let's continue. Oh my goodness, the two of cups. Okay. Oh yes, the two of cups. There's love here. Um, there's loving energy and there's there's a love potential, okay? There's potential here for a very deeply, um, you know, loving bond. Things have, there's something's got to give, okay? Very clearly. Uh, 
let's take three more. You two could have split and you two cannot forget each other and you just want to start again. Okay, there's deep love here. Let's take three more. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, um, this could be the love of a lifetime, okay? The Knight of Cups. This is about proposals. This is about, this can be about pro a proposal of marriage. These two cards together here, okay? Um, I do know your, your person really truly does miss you and... They want to build with you. We've got the ace touching the king of pentacles. All about manifestation. It's all about bridging the gap. Okay. Um, ace of wands. And the wheel of fortune. They dream of you. This is about destiny and fate. Whatever ha has happened between you two. I'm getting the message here that the universe has got plans for you two. There's something here about the fact that you two were always meant to be together, okay? Absolutely. Let's continue. Oh, it is a beautiful thing. There it is. And they, they feel that you are absolutely beautiful. Something here for some of you happened literally on Valentine's Day, okay? There's something here about a gathering of people also. Um, like an event. Um, that's very, very significant. Very significant. Um, it could have literally been in midsummer. That's just like for, for some of you, okay. Um, I think about you every day. And I want you. There it is. So that, that they are the messages that have come through here. Um, and I really hope that you found this reading helpful. So now I'm going to move on to set of cards number three. this set of cards number three does he miss me so let's go ahead now and place these cards down i do just want to quickly mention if you would ever like a personal reading with me all of those details to book are in the description box below you can book via etsy or paypal and i do offer a reading with a 24-hour turnaround so having said that, I really want to go ahead now because the, you know, the uh, I'm I, I tend to get like a certain vibe when I you know do these readings and we're getting a good, a really good positive energy coming through. Okay, so let's carry on. So does he or she, of course, miss me? Let's take a look. 
we have. Okay, so we've got the Four of Swords with the Tower. It's intense straight away. You know, um, you know, it's quite a pointed question, isn't it? Does he or she miss me? You know, and to see these difficult energies, it, it's given. It's telling me that um, it, it's quite a severe um, level of um, like kind of separation and and how they're feeling about you. Okay, um, let's continue. Oh yeah, it is. It's intense. Okay, it's very, very, very intense. Okay, so, so the four of swords represents somebody who is really um, mentally exhausted. Okay, and it's kind of like whatever the feeling regarding you is so severe that they they have to literally go and take take some time okay to 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 try and stop the 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 racing thoughts okay they they've got racing thoughts about you um and the you know we see the kind of like the almost like um grayish like kind of gloomy kind of energy here and it's because they feel so bad without you okay it's kind of like they can't think straight their thoughts are racing and i have to say you know they're having a very intense time right now when it comes to you regarding this question they are in literally in the tower energy. It's like everything's come crashing down for them. This can also represent knowing that things have got to shift in order for them to be reunited with you. Okay? Because we also have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands truly is so passionate. It's about somebody literally turning up on your doorstep and knocking on your door because the Knight of Wands is energetic. It's about this true face-to-face -face energy. It's not about even, you know, it's, it goes beyond. It's like they, they, they want to send you a message so intensely that they may actually feel like they need to do it in person, okay? Take it as it resonates. I want to take some more cards here. Let's take three here. And three here. So let's take a look. The Two of Swords. Ooh, the Four of Pentacles and the Magician. So this is about the build-up. This is the build-up to the the this night of one's energy the bursting forth the coming towards you the manifestation this is about breaking down internal barriers okay this can be about having to literally come out of the cage come sorry come out of the cave um it it's about embracing and taking an action towards you regarding whatever has happened between you two, okay? It's here. Let's take a look. Justice. The King of Cups. 
and the king of pentacles powerful so this is about the way that they feel it's like that there there is there is nothing for them if if you're not there and it's about them respecting like their true feelings and taking appropriate action now because they truly want to be with you and now it's about the deep realization that you know this distance is just no good they are having a really terrible time and the only way to bring it all back into balance is for them to start to open up, truly open up to you and to their own feelings and to come towards you, like physically, okay? To come and literally knock at your door, to send that message, to do whatever needs to be done. It's like a new, it's like a new chapter. That's why I'm getting here. There's a, a new chapter in your connection. There's a big shift and then a new chapter, okay? Um, oh, and we actually have the, the, message, the message energy, okay? Expect a message. That's what's coming through very strongly. Uh, let's take a look. I love you so much words cannot describe and yeah tormented the four of swords with the tower and the two of swords but you know this is to me it's it's developing as as like a, a timeline okay this look to me this looks to be like the past energy this is the present and this is coming through strongly as the future difficult decisions pent up energies the want and desire for manifestation, the big shift, the message, the messenger, the, the powerful energy, balance restored, and the two kings, the incredible king of cups and the incredible king of pentacles, true manifestation. So uh, there we go. Uh, that's what's come through. And I really hope that you found the reading helpful. Okay then, bye.